In this question, we are asked to determine where the lines 3x plus 5y equals 25 and 2x plus 6y equals 26 intersect. Now, I've drawn myself a little sketch on the right hand side here to show what these two lines kind of look like and what's happening. The dark green line is the 3x plus 5y, 5y equals 25 and the red line is 2x plus 6y equals 26. Now, I could always draw them on a graph and figure out where they intersect, but for some equations, the intersection might be quite a nasty number. And so the best way to do this is through simultaneous equations. And in this case, in the way that this question is set up, you're most likely and better off using the elimination method. Okay, so that's the method that I'm going to look at first. So with the elimination method, we label the equations. So I'm going to label this equation 1 and this equation 2. Okay, so that's, I'm labeling them just so I can make sense of what is going on. Now, I'm going to ch you can choose whether to eliminate the x's first or the y's first. So I'm going to eliminate the x's. In order to do that, I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 2. The reasoning for this will become quite clear. Okay. So I'm going to get 2 times 3x is 6x plus 10y equals 50. Okay, and I'm going to call this equation 3. And the second equation, equation 2, I'm going to multiply that one by 3. So I'm going to get 6x, 3 times 6y is 18y, and 3 times 26 is 78 and that will be my equation 4 now it should be quite plain to see why I chose to multiply the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 3 what has happened is that I've got a 6x in the first equation I've got a 6x in the second equation which means that I can now take equation 4 okay, and subtract equation 3 and in effect what will happen is that I'll get 6x take away 6x and so x has been eliminated hence the title of the method I will get 18y take away 10y is 8y and I will get 78 take away 50 is 28 so y will be equal to 28 divided by 8 which will simplify down to 7 halves now once I've got y I can substitute y into one of the, my original two equations and I'm going to choose the first one. It's nice and simple. So I've got 3x. Okay, so I'm looking at my original equation here. Number one, 3x plus 5 times y, which is now 7 halves, is equal to 25. And I need to work out what the x is. Okay, so 5 times 7 halves is 35 halves. Okay, I'm going to take 35 halves from both sides, and you should be able to get 15 halves. Okay, so x is 15 halves divided by 3, which is 5 halves.
So we've got now a value for x, we've got a value for y. The last thing that we need to do is check that this is correct. So we're going to check by substituting in to equation 2. Okay, that second equation, just to check that this works. So I've got 2 times the x, so 2 times 5 over 2, plus 6 times 7 over 2, so 2 times 5 over 2 is 10 over 2, or 10 halves, 6 times 7 over 2 is 42 halves, so 10 halves plus 42 halves is 52 halves, which is equal to 26 which is exactly what I wanted from equation 2 anyway so excellent it works so that means that we have found the coordinates of the intersection point and the intersection point coordinates are 5 halves 7 halves and we are done.